hello guys welcome back in this video let's have a look on how to bake normal map and export model from zbrush and then bring that into the substance painter moreover this model has got udm tiles there are two tiles for this model so i'll be showing the process of zbrush to substance painter workflow which can generally help you painting further I'll take you through the model uh, in the ZBrush. Right now I've got this model at the subdivision level 1 and I've sculpted all these details with all the basic tools what I have in the ZBrush. And I'll switch this to the subdivision level 1 and I'll enable the wireframe here so that you could see the UV panels here. I'll just uh, slide this UV map section and then switch on morph UV and you should be able to see the UVs. Uh, there are two tiles and you could see that overlapping UVs of these two tiles. Enable this uh, subdivision level 7. And I'll open the multi-map exporter from the Z plugin. And uh, in multi-map exporter, you have normal and you have export mesh both options. So I, I have to export these two, you know, maps and geometry. Uh, the first thing is uh, I should just uh, change the file names here. Uh, here you could see UV tile ID format is UDIM. If you click, it keeps changing. So I'm expecting the UDIM format here for the file names. So I'll just go to the normal map here and uh, I want to slide this to the subdivision level 1 and uh, what it generally does is the details of the 7th subdivision level are transferred to the subdivision level 1 if you have picked this as subdivision level 1. So we have smooth UV option and smooth normal option. I'm going to switch this both options on. We have adaptive. I'm using that also. Then we have tangent, uh, tangent space normal. So I'll be choosing all these options here for the normal map. And then we have mesh export and uh, I'm going to export the first subdivision level. I don't want the triangulated model. I want a quad model often. So I'm switching that merge option. So it is merge UVs when exporting mesh. Uh, so uh, the next thing is uh, make sure that this flip V is on because the UVs of the ZBrush is uh, negative or opposite side of what your Maya and the other softwares are. So I need to flip the UVs uh, and uh, the texture at which I want to bake is the 4K. Okay. So once I have done all that, I'll just hit the create all maps, name that file. Okay. So I just want to name it as frog 01. And then just when I hit save, it bakes the map. So let's bring the file into the substance painter for that. I'll go to the file new, and then we have the template for the materials. I'll be, I'll be choosing the metallic roughness default, which is here. here. And then I'll go to select option and then choose the OBJ file, which I brought from the ZBrush. So once that is done, I'm picking the 4K resolution here. And uh, then I'm going to pick, uh, keep everything default there and then say, OK. So I've got the model here, which has got uh, no details of what we have done in the ZBrush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import that file into the Substance Painter. So this is the browser from where I'm going to select the first image of this uh, UDM tile. I have two uh, tiles, actually. One is 1001 and 1002 so i'm going to select the first one and i'll just drop that into the project here and once that is done i'm going to select this option and say this is the texture file and then i'm going to import into the current session there or the, the project where uh, i'm working and once that is done i'm just saying import and if you could see uh, all uh, textures are normal but this texture has a number two which tells that there are two tiles here okay so let's go to the texture settings and uh, uh, slide down to the big mesh maps option. And then we have this select normal. So I'm going to drag and drop that onto the normal there. And that normal uh, will be applied to this model. And the both UDM tiles are really working there. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, check with uh, the 2D and 3D mode. And then you should be able to see uh, there are two tiles on which this normal map has been applied. And uh, right now I could not able to see here, but yeah, it's there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose the bake mesh options. Okay. And then uh, I'll just choose the output size to 4K for baking the texture. Uh, normal map, I'm going to switch it off, but I'll go to the curvature here and then you should be able to see curvature should be generated from the mesh or from the normal map. And I'm choosing from the normal map here. And there are a few options. You can play around with those options for suitable results uh, in your uh, case, but I'm leaving this to the default. And then I'm going to hit the bake selected textures option. So this will bake texture maps, which are basically the position map, the thickness map, the curvature map, ambient occlusion map, 
which are going to help us in the procedural texturing of the substance painter. Now let me just uh, go to this uh, texture and then have a preview of all the textures. You should be able to see the ambient occlusion has got the details of that. We got the curvature map. Uh, it has, uh, you know, uh, identified all that cavities and all that stuff. And then uh, you could able to see the position, the thickness, the normal and the world space. So once that is done, uh, you can start working on texturing. Guys, I've made a lot of videos on Substance Painter topic and it's put in the playlist and you can check that playlist here. And also I request you to subscribe the channel for more such content and please support the channel.